Back in 2009, Warren Niles came to ORU as a skinny freshman from Cincinnati. Well, today he leads the team in scoring, three-pointers, and three-point percentage. In conference play, Warren has become a marked man. It's, it's good, but it also can be uh, bad because say you don't you don't come through in the cl clutch or you, you lose a tight game, then you know everybody's going to be looking at you for like, what could, what could I have done better, you know what I mean? So. It's, it's good, but it's also could be bad. Although not a vocal leader, Niles has earned the respect of his teammates for quietly going about his business of leading the Golden Eagles on and off the court. He's one of two seniors joining Damon Bell Holter for a final farewell. I mean, he's uh, he's done things differently. He's scored within the offense, and we talked about it a little couple weeks ago. Whatever is how he how he's done it. Rather than forcing things, he's hit open jump shots, and he's one of the best shooters in the country. So he's going to get hot. And, I mean, he has the ability to go past defenders and make plays, so that's where that's where I've noticed he's matured. Is he lets things come to him rather than forcing it? Yeah, well, I'm I'm pretty much comfortable with it now. It was just a, a little learning experience coming in in about November. You know, what I mean, getting used to taking the big shots, and but like I said, I was always I've always been known as a scorer, so it didn't it didn't change much. Niles will leave ORU in the top five all time in three pointers and top ten in scoring. Like any player, he'd trade all of those points for a shot at playing in the NCAA tournament, which has eluded him up to this point. Still, he'll always have fond memories of wearing a Golden Eagle uniform. Well, I came here, um, scored, scored some points, but also got a lot of wins under my belt at ORU, and hopefully I can uh, go to the NCAA tournament and have that under my belt as well.